All right, this is question 10 from Dr. Long's exam review. It's asking if a lipid flip base can maintain a gradient of a million fold comparing the ratio of phosphatidyl serine inside the plasma membrane to the outside of the plasma membrane. What is the energetic cost of bringing more phosphatidyl serines from the outer membrane to the inner membrane, assuming the membrane potential is zero? So you're going to use this equation, which is delta G equals the gas constant, which will be given, times the temperature in Kelvin. And it's got to be in Kelvin. And if they give you Celsius, it's just Celsius plus 273 will give you that temperature in Kelvin. Times the natural log of C2 over C1. C1 is the concentration of where you're starting at. C2 is where you're going to end up at. Plus Z, which is the charge of the species you're talking about, times Faraday's constant, which will also be given, times the membrane potential. So the question states that it's a million fold comparing the ratio of phosphatidyl serine inside the plasma mem membrane to outside. So inside we know that it's going to be one million to outside to one. So then they want then they want to know what is the energetic cost of bringing more phosphatidyl serines from the outside to the inside. So more from the outside to the inside. So outside we have one. So that's C one is where you're going to start from. This is all, C one is always going to be where you're starting from in the question. So they want to know if, what's the energetic cost of bringing more from the outer to the inner. So you just simply plug that in. So you're going to have 1 million over 1 times all this. And your final answer, when you plug all that in, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's going to be in joules. And so you gotta, you got to convert that to kilojoules is what they wanted in the answer. So you just divide by 1,000. And the final answer is going to be 35.6 kilojoules per mole. And that is the answer to part A of this question. All right, this is uh, 10 part B on Dr. Long's exam review. It's asking, what is the membrane potential is 50 millivolts that given size? So beforehand, the, for part A, we just had to calculate and use this part of the equa equation because this part automatically went to zero because the membrane potential, they said, was zero. So this automatically went to zero. So now they're saying 50 millivolts. So they give it in millivolts. So you need to convert that to volts, which divide by 1,000, that'll be 0.05 volts times uh, Faraday's constant times, this is the charge of the species, which is given, and it says the charge is negative 1 of phosphatidyl serine. So that will be negative 1 times Faraday's constant times a negative 0.05 volts because they said it was negative to the inside. And once you plug all that in, plug, leave all everything the same, convert back to kilojoules, which should get 40.4 kilojoules per mole.